In this lesson, I'm gonna fix your over-the-top golf swing with three simple little tips. Let's get stuck into it. Firstly, what is an over-the-top golf swing? Because we need to understand it if we're gonna fix it. And what it is, is as I stand to this golf ball here and we see a line coming up through the driver shaft and through my body now, as I would make my backswing, it would go somewhere along the line. But as I start my downswing, we would see that the club would get over the top of the line, meaning it gets steeper. As it approaches the golf ball, it's coming in too steep, so I'm gonna hit down on it and I'm gonna hit across it. It's not gonna result in strikes that I want and it's not gonna result in the ball flights that I want. And tip number one, simple little thing that you can do. When we see someone who swings the golf club over the top, what we would see, if we look at their arms, their back arm, so the right arm for me is a right-handed golfer, the back arm is always on top of the front arm here. So we would see, as I go over this line now, my back arm is on top of my front arm. And what I want to try and do to change that is feeling I would go up the line, and now in my downswing, I wanna put my back arm underneath my front arm. And just notice, as the back arm goes underneath the front arm, I go underneath the line there. So that is a big tick for us. We're not seeing that it goes on top of the front arm and goes over the top of the line. So a real simple thing, have some practice swings where you feel you go up, then put the back arm under the front arm. Little practice swing up, back arm underneath the front arm. And from there, if we can put that into an actual shot, we would see there a nice drive down the middle of the fairway and hopefully I got my back arm underneath my front arm and from there then I am stopping that over the top golf swing. Tip number two, again all about a feeling to do with our body that can help us. Gave this to one of my lessons the other day. When we get driver out and we see over the top golf swings happening with driver a lot because we try to hit it harder, we hit from the top, but also one of the things that happens because of the ball being placed up in my stance on my lead foot here now, what that means is that my trail hand, so my right hand, the back hand, has to come more up my stance. That means that my shoulders would get open to my ball to target line. So we see two lines whizzing up there. We see the one down the middle of the fairway, but then my shoulder line would not be on there. Also what that does, it means that my spine angle, as I pull this way, starts to tilt towards my target. We see the spine angle here tilting towards target. We don't want that. What we want to try and see is that now we see the two lines and I get my shoulders aligned correctly. And then as I swing it up, we go up the line. And the feeling I want to try and have is not that I would go over the top and get my front shoulder pointing at the ground and I get my spine tilted towards the target. I want to try and feel, as I go down in the downswing, I get my spine tilts away from the target and my front shoulder points up to the sky. If I do that, we see the club comes down underneath the line. If I go the opposite spine towards target, it's over the line. So get my spine tilting away from the target and sh front shoulder up to the sky and we see that club dropping under the line. A few practice swings of that, having those feelings and then from there we should start to see again that we get something where the club is no longer over the top. And there are two balls dead down the fairway, not swinging over the top. Third and final tip. I'm gonna set an alignment cane up for this little tip here. It's gonna be the angle of my driver shaft and it's gonna be one driver's length away from my back foot as I stand to the golf ball. So I'm set here and that's one driver's length away from there. Real simple thing, all about exaggerating this tip. In the old swing, we know that we go up the line and then we go over the top. We're gonna to reverse it here. What we want to try and see is that I would feel I go up above a little bit in the backswing, so I go above the line, and then I go underneath the line here. I've got my cane, so I'm going above it, and then I go under it, 
and notice from this angle here, as I incorporate going above and then under, those two earlier tips are starting to happen. My spine's tilted away from the target, my front shoulder's tilted up, and my right arm is underneath the left arm for me. So I'd have a few practice swings where I exaggerate the feeling. I go above it, I go under it. And then if I can bring that into a shot now and tie those three together, a little bit toey there for myself, so it's dove left, but what I've done is I've not gone over the top on any of those golf swings there. So three simple tips to fix your over the top golf swing. Think about those arms, think about your tilts, then have some exaggerations and you can fix that over the top golf swing. Guys, hope you've enjoyed the lesson. If you have, hit that subscribe button for me down there and I'll see you in your next one.